YouTube, what's up, man? I feel like it's been a while since I got showed you guys my team that I'm playing these games with. This was a great game. Actually, my Super Bowl, you know, when I play this game live on Twitch.tv, you guys can check out that link below. Watch me play live every night we play. Man, Weekend League is popping right now. In fact, I have one of the best games of my first five Weekend Leagues ready to drop. But when this gameplay gets 400 likes, I'm going to go ahead and drop the next gameplay. That's what I want. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you're liking these videos. Let's go over my team just a little bit. Uh, it's been a while since I did this. Um, listen, I will be the first to admit I have moved on from Jason Kelsey as center. That last gameplay, the game I lost when Miles Garrett got absolutely dominated, you know what? You don't got to show me twice, man. Dwight Stevenson, I picked him up at center. And let me know if you guys have ever done that before. Has a card ever killed you? Or have you noticed a card from a player you're playing and be like, yo, I need that card? Instantly went out. Got the Dwight Stevenson. The good thing about the Dwight Stevenson is it was mostly training. And that's good because, shoot, I have so much training built up from buying packs and there's no value in the cards anymore that you just quick sell them. As you see right there, 99 is across the board in pass blocking. That's mostly what I want him for. Run block and the 97 strength. That's the one thing Kelsey was kind of weak in the boots. Only had that 85 strength. So I moved on from the all Eagles O-line. As you see, I have Thune here. Lane Johnson will never go anywhere because he's so fast. If you throw a pick, if you fumble the ball, he's kind of like another, you know, wide receiver or fast linebacker to catch the guys so they don't give up pick sixes. Um, but that's the team is pretty much the same. Still have Walter Payton, still have Moss, Michael Vick. Uh, I did a video on Michael Vick. You guys pretty much check that out. But I'll show you what I run on both of my wide receivers because, um, I mean, just just questions you guys ask. These is what I run on my wide receivers. Um, Moss, obviously, I feel like those abilities are pointless, really. I run wide receiver apprentice. Why do I do this? Because he can have hot routes at every position. Most of the time I pass, now I'm feeling like Trey Wide Flex is my go-to. So he's either in the slot or outside. So And when I flip the formation, he goes from either the slot or the outside. So he flips depending on which side I have my trips. Um, so I like to be able to put him on a deep post, and I like to be able to put him on a corner route and that post route. That's why I have wide receiver apprentice. Cross specialist for dagger. He's always going to catch it. Post flag elite for corner routes and a post route. Always going to catch it. And streak specialist. Uh, I feel like if I was going to get rid of one of these, uh, streak specialists might be it, but it's always good to be able to fire that streak in on third and 10, knowing you're going to catch the ball no matter what. So I'm going to keep streak special. I run that both on Randy Moss and Julio Jones, the same exact abilities on my wide receivers. Defensively, I'm not giving up on Miles Garrett. He had a bad game last game on YouTube, but I'm not giving up on him. He's still going to be my, my D tackle. Um, both my safeties that I use, Taylor Mays and Calvin Johnson. This video, I want to be at 146, so they're going to be at linebacker, where I have Dawkins and Knight train as safety. I'll show you what I run on both of my safeties. This is what I like. Uh, I run Enforcer, obviously. Lurker, Acrobat, they dive all over the place. They make tons of plays. Um, universal coverage. If I was playing the World Championship of Mutt, you know, for $100,000, I probably would get rid of Acrobat for... Um, tackle Supreme. One of these would go for Tackle Supreme. I would keep keep one of these and get Tackle Supreme. But because I'm playing for fun, I'm playing for Weekend League, I'm playing for Mutt. That's what I use on those guys. And Miles Garrett, um, like I said, uh, he had a bad game last game. He did. But you just got to instill that confidence, man. Talk to him after the game. Say, we believe in you. You know, you can't get rid of him too soon. Pass rush elite, enforcer, run stopper, and, and uh, secure tackler. You know, those are the four that I run on him, unstoppable force, obviously. So that's the team I've been using. I, I, I like it. I feel pretty comfortable. Like we said a bunch of times, only cards we're really waiting for. Um, T.O., Sean Taylor, I would love a Brian Westbrook card. Are there any cards you guys are waiting for? Let me know. But until then, let's get into this gameplay. All right, boys, this was my Super Bowl. And what's crazy about it is I actually played this guy in the season. And he actually beat me. Uh, he's a pretty good player. Um, he ran a little bit of different formation. I believe it's in West Coast. The single back doubles north or whatever is pretty good. And the first drive, he gets me out of there. Uh, a three and out on the first drive always sucks, especially because now you're down a possession and you're also down a possession because he gets the ball at half. So it's kind of rough. Randall cutting him as my punter. That was a decent punt. Still got him back uh, in his own territory. And we got to stop the run. One thing about this doubles north or a single back is Miles Garrett. I told you, believe in him. Talk to him after the game. Say, I believe in you, kid. Go out there and do your thing. Once again, boom, back-to-back -back sacks. Miles Garrett home. 
Like I said, you have to stop the run out of this doubles north or single back. Uh, there is a stretch, there is a dive. So that's what makes it a little bit tougher than other shotgun formations. But I'll tell you, this guy had really good blast defense. Um, it seemed like every time I was going, I was running right into Taylor Mays. So I started becoming a little bit afraid to run the blast because I want to win my Super Bowl. You know, I got to play a little bit closer to the vest um, as I do a little in route right there. Boom. But if I'm going to get a, a fourth and eight, fourth and seven, I'm going to go for it right here. My His Miles Garrett kills me. So both of us have Miles Garrett. They killed me right there. Actually, Lawrence Taylor on the left side got some scream too. Made me step up in the pocket and Miles got me. Clowny getting him right there. Um, I will tell you, the, the first time I played him, I didn't play that well defense. He actually beat me. Uh, but this time, I, I tell you one thing is he throws a corner route right at a vert hook. Uh, Dion needs to make a play right there. But the one thing about me, man, I always, the more I see your offense, the more I see your hot routes and what your favorite plays are, the better I get defensively. Um, and it also helps when Miles Garrett eats. That time he threw the ball right over Mike Evans. 6'5 for what? Uh, I don't know about that Mike Evans card. I don't know how great he is as Bo Jackson walks into the end zone. I believe these are the throwback Raiders jerseys with the big numbers on the, on the shoulders. I, I, be, I kind of like them. I'll be honest. I kind of like them. And the one thing about Trey White Flex is I do like to be able to mix in the inside zone, read option, combination. I think it puts a lot of stress on the defense. Throwing that dagger route. Taylor Mays is fast, but he cannot catch up to Randy Moss. That's why we have that cross specialist on him. I, I'll tell you, man. Taylor Mays is... I, I, it's hard to me argue that he's not the best player in this game. It's, it's hard for me not to argue that. Love Calvin Johnson. I think um, just from playing with both of them, you guys know they're my safeties. From playing with both of them, I think Taylor Mays has a little bit more rocks in his socks. He hits a lot harder than Calvin. I feel like he's just more physical. Or Calvin's probably better versus the pass, but Taylor Mays is. I'll, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's rare for me to say that I'm afraid of somebody, but I'm kind of afraid of Taylor Mays. As Michael Vick is going to go ahead. And this is third and goal. We're going to punch it in right there. We milked enough clock. Only 30 seconds left for him to try to get some points before half. But we tied it up. Good second drive right there. I believe that was my third drive. Yeah, I punted. Got stopped on fourth. Tied the game up 7-7. Seven to seven. So let's get going here. Uh, same thing. I'm using Taylor Mays right now. He hits this slant underneath. Ramsey got kind of cooked right there by um, Jerry Rice. Uh, here goes with a rollout corner. He doesn't throw it. I would have thrown that corner around 100%. Actually gets tackled by Clowney there. Has to use his last timeout. Second and four, and we're actually going to get a shed right there from Deion Sanders. Get the third down. That's going to take us to the half. Uh, he's not going to be able to do anything after that. That's going to be the end of the first half. 7-7, seven, seven. so close close the battle. Um, like I said, I didn't really want to run blast that much because I felt like I was staring at Taylor Mays every single time. Um, one four six two three six. they do a good job of stopping blast because eventually, yeah, there's yards to be had, but you're going to get hit, and it doesn't really give up a big play. Uh, blast is best against blitz seven and three four and put everybody in a box uh, when you're playing pass defense as miles garrett gets him again if you're playing pass defense um, it's harder to get a big play on blast so i tend to shy away from it third and nine he's gonna go roll out corner here we're all over at this time tries to go backside post that would have been a ridiculous throw golden ticket dawkins is there to make a play get up kid i feel like people get up so slow when they catch interceptions like they have no desire to get a touchdown when they catch interceptions there we go actually eating a hit stick uh if you guys watch me you know vic doesn't eat too many hit sticks that's a rough one there we go nice little cross specialist boom nice stick right there to get my feet in balance and uh get the right animation on the sideline gotta go ahead and take this lead right here whoop back to the side with peyton oh actually got tackled there. i believe that's ed reed wrapping me up shoestring tackle there was, he just, Khalil Mack came off the edge right there, getting the sack. Um, it's tough to score down here in the red zone. You know, it really is. Go for the post route. How many times does that happen to you where they catch it? Third and goal. We're going to laser this corner route in. Touchdown, Calvin Johnson. We take a lead. 14-7. to Got to hold the door now, though. That's all. Got to hold the door. Uh, he's playing good offense. Um, just got to get one stop. I feel with one minute and 23 seconds left. If I get one stop, I'm feeling like this game's over. Got to stop the run. There's Calvin. Like I said, he doesn't have the boots that Taylor Mays has, but he definitely still hits. Definitely still can knock your socks off. Uh, nice little corner out there to Julio Jones, Julio Mondulli. One thing, one thing that's, and this was a free play. He chucked it up. Always chuck it up when you get a free play. And, and listen, if you catch a pick, don't just go out of bounds. Run to the end zone. Hope that they accidentally decline it. But uh, one thing about Mutt this year, I feel like everybody kind of has the same cars this year. I don't know. I feel like Julio, Calvin, Moss. I feel like everybody, I, I guess it's just, it's always been like that. But I do feel like it's a lot of similar cars right now. Uh, but this is money drop for him. He's got to tie the game up. Boom. Second and eight. 
looking for the post night train i need you to finish the job right there i need you to finish the job end the game we'll deal with it though throws in the flat over here now this is a huge play third down it would have been fourth and four but he fought forward like a oh my gosh like a dog jerry rice so second and two is way tougher to defend than fourth and four. Fourth and two he can run here i still have to play to run and normally, if you guys watch me, man, I play a lot of aggressive defense. One thing I think here, man, if you play aggressive, you could give up the touchdown. Even if he gets the first down, remember, he still has to tie the game. So I'm going to play cover two, shade underneath. Then I'm going to recloud the outside. But he actually hits this post route. Boom, right there. Nice dot. Nice play to draw up. Gave him a little bit too much time. But he's in a good spot because he's, and we missed the tackle there, but we clean him up. He was first and goal from the nine. Now he's second and goal from the four. Right here, he hits me with like a fade. And he got to the back. That was just perfect timing and perfect throw to the back of the end zone. That was really good. I see a lot of people doing these comeback routes and hit like things in the back of the end zone. And they're, like they're throwing it at the right time. So they catch it and, and my zones just dumb out. I mean, that was a good play to tie the game up. Money drive time. This is why they watch. This is what we get done. Now I want to run here because uh, I want to I want to use this clock. Because even if I don't get, you know, points here, I don't want to give him a chance. And there goes Taylor May tackling me in the backfield. Now... I'm gonna go for this, right? I'm gonna drop my nuts, fourth and three. I feel like I should be able to get that. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I realize he has one DB on my right side and one DB on my left. I'm gonna motion my running back over to block the DB on my right. If he blitzes the DB on the left, I'm gonna snap throw to the tight end on that zig route. That's my read every time. Boom, we hit him and Ingram, guy, he fights and we actually get the first down. Big play by Ingram. Not the best fight, but it was still a fight. Nice little 15 yard run right there from Walter Payton. And we're just gonna use a little bit more clock. It's okay with the clock running. I have all the time in the world. Run out here, hit Evan Ingram on the drag, pick up a cool one yard. <laughs> there it is, second and six. Uh, looking to scramble, but there it goes that man. Uh, Khalil Mack again sacking me, third and 12. And we're gonna get up out of here with Vic. Catch a block from Evan Ingram, and we're going to take it down to the 37-yard line. GG's in the chat. Big scramble from Vic. Big play. Big play from Evan Ingram. Big scramble from Vic, and we get ourselves in field goal range to end this game. We're just going to run the ball. We're going to make him use all his timeouts. Take a knee right here. Use our last timeout with three seconds left, and we're going to kick this game-winning field goal with Dan to win our Super Bowl. Now, we've talked about this a million times. I feel like every game I show you guys comes down to some type of field goal. Uh, we can all agree field goals uh, need to be harder. This one's, what, 36-yard line? 46 plus 7 is what? 46 plus 7 is 53-yarder. Uh, I feel like a 53 yarder should be tougher and I do feel like you should not be able to avoid ice I don't I don't want that ability in the game next year as I honestly Wasn't the best accuracy. He can still block it. That's why I'm holding a right here making sure he does not block my field goal uh, Just so he can't time it. We're gonna let it go or at a random time around what 14 seconds on the play clock GG's in the chat we do win the Super Bowl. We do walk off. We do get this season victory. Now, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I believe they give you a touchdown pack, so 65,000 coins for winning the Super Bowl. I feel like rewards are really good um, this year, and I, I think they're I think they're awesome. As you see it right there, bam. Super Bowl, I don't even know what number that is. My boy's going crazy. You see Night Train and Gronk. I, Night Train and Gronk, I don't think they would be the best to hang out. Coach Clef, there he is, going across the field. Coach Clef shaking hands with Coach Madden. Now you love to see it. But anyway, this was a great game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, 400 likes, I will drop the best game from my most recent weekend league stream.